Health officials agree that there is still much that is unknown about COVID-19, but we know so much more today than we did seven months ago when the World Health Organization first tweeted about a virus outbreak in China. So here are seven things that we've learned about coronavirus so far. Researchers in Hong Kong claim to have the first evidence of someone being reinfected with the virus. With COVID, can you get re-inoculated 100%? The big unknown with COVID, does that first infection that you have confer immunity for this second infection? Nobody knows the answer to that question. Tens of thousands of people who had COVID-19, known as long haulers, say they continue to experience lingering symptoms of the virus for weeks to months after initial infection. There have been multiple studies in multiple countries that have shown that weeks to many months later, patients are still experiencing symptoms such as uh, shortness of breath, brain fog, uh, numbness and tingling in their extremities, their arms or their feet. And that's the lingering effects of the inflammation caused by this virus. When it comes to COVID-19 and children, we know that kids can get coronavirus and spread it, but there is a lot that we're still figuring out. We know that kids can possibly spread the coronavirus, especially those kids 10 and 11 years and older can spread the virus just like adults do. We don't know a lot about transmission in younger children yet. Doctors say patients have continually tested positive for COVID-19 after recovering from the virus, which they attribute to the testing process. The test is sensitive for the mRNA of the virus. So that was just the viral fragments that were retained in the nose or the mouth that do not indicate that the patient is still infected or contagious of the virus. Research suggests that the most common method of transmission is through respiratory droplets, like coughing or sneezing, but it can be transmitted by touching surfaces. Yes, you certainly can transmit the disease through fomites or surface areas. It's not as likely to get infected that way as it is to have person-to-person -person contact. Doctors say the reliability of antibody testing is all about timing. The utility of antibody testing is limited. I mean, it's good if you do it right after an infection, but if you do it two or three months later and you don't have antibodies in your, in your test, that doesn't mean that you weren't necessarily infected. A vaccine is on the way. Where we are now in America is we have six strong contenders that are going through their phase three clinical trials. We are estimating that the phase three clinical trials will be completed around January which will give us a lot of data. 